Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a personalized thank you card in Word. Now it can be any card you like, it can be a birthday card, I'm just using a thank you card as an example. So we've just opened up a default document and if I go to layout and go to this icon here that says size, click on the drop down, and you can see that currently we're using A4 but you can use any of these sizes that you like, depending on the card size that you have. So I'm just going to stick to A4 for this demonstration. And then I'm going to turn the page around because I want it to fold to A5. So again, go up to layout, go to orientation, click on the drop down and select landscape. And there we have our landscape orientation. Now to find the center of this document, I'm actually going to put a line down the middle, but I'm going to do that in the headers and footers so that I don't nudge it or move it whilst I'm creating my design. So I'm going to double click at the top or the bottom of my document, go into the headers and footers. You can see we're in the headers and footers by these tabs. Go to insert shape, click on the drop down and select the line. Then just click and hold your shift key down, click and drag out a line. Once that's selected, go to Shape Format, go to Align, click on the drop down and select Align to Center. And that will be perfectly aligned in the center of your document. Double click into the main part of the document, which means we come out of the headers and footers. And then to ensure that we've aligned everything to the center of just this half of the page where it's folded, we're going to insert a, a rectangle. So go to Insert, Shapes, click on the drop down and select Rectangle. Now click and draw out a rectangle and what we're going to do is to line this up perfectly with the edges of our document and with that center line there. To get a close up, just zoom in, go down to the bottom right and use the zoom in and then you can use this arrow to move left and right to see we've just clicked on that central line there. Then we'll just zoom back out. So what this allows us to do is whatever we put into this box here will align to the center. Whereas if we normally align to the center, it would just move everything to the middle of the document like it did with the line. So this background is purely there as a guide and we're going to take it out at the end. So all I'm going to do, move that over there. I'm going to take out the central color. So this blue, I'm going to take that out. So select the shape, go to shape format, go to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. If I deselect it, you can see we've also got a border line that will go around the outside. You can't see the outside one because it's on the very edge, but that is the border line of your rectangle. So let's go to inserting a background. So I'm going to insert shapes and choose the rectangle again, and I'm going to click and drag out a rectangle. Now, the reason I'm not going to go to the edges is because most people don't have borderless printing. Now, if you do, you can move this right to the edges if you want to, but I'm just going to tuck that in because otherwise you will get a white borderline around the outside. So to ensure I'm centered, select the background and then hold your command or control key down and select this rectangle here or select the rectangle first, select it. There we go. You can see the squares appear around the outside hold the command or control key down and select this one as well. Then go to shape format, go to align, align to center, align, align to middle. And that will ensure that this rectangle is lined up perfectly in the center of the larger rectangle. So now we can choose our background colors. At the moment, there is a border line around this rectangle and there's a fill color. So select it, go to shape format. I'm going to go to shape outline, which is the border line and select no outline. Go to shape fill. I'm going to go to more fill colors. And then I'm just going to select this icon here and select this pink. Click OK. Now, if I feel that pink's a bit bright, which I do, I can go back up to shape fill, go to more fill colors. I can go to the color wheel the pink has already been selected. I can just tone that pink down by using the darken slider, or I can lighten it by moving my cursor slightly more towards the center, and then click OK. And it tones it down a little bit, but maybe just a little bit more. Make it a little bit darker, click OK. Okay, so the next thing to do is insert our photograph. So go to insert, pictures, click on the drop down and from here you'll probably select picture from file which will be from your computer. 
but I'm going to use a stock image from this software. So click on stock image. In the search bar, I'm just going to type people and select this image here, click insert. And so that I can move this image around and I can crop it, select it, go to picture format, wrap text, click on the drop down and select in front of text. And then I'm going to crop it using the crop tool. So select the drop down. I'm going to select aspect ratio because I want it to be a perfect square. So select aspect ratio and click one to one, but you can also crop to a shape. So if you have a circle, you want a circle or a triangle or anything like that, you can crop your image to all of these shapes. So I'm going to crop to aspect ratio one to one. You can move the picture left or right, so it's perfect. You can also reduce the crop as well, but make sure you hit the shift key to make sure it keeps that ratio. And once I'm happy, I just hit enter. Then I can resize the picture and move it to the middle here. Now I'm not going to align all of these images and all the text just yet. I'm going to wait till the end and put them all in the middle. I'm going to put a border line around this image, so select it go to picture format, go along to format pane. And here you have your format picture tab, go to the bucket icon, go to line, click on the drop down, go to solid line. And here I can change my border color. I'm going to change it to white and I'm going to increase the width of it here to five and press enter and then deselect it. You can see I've got that lovely border line around the outside there. You can see my corners are rounded and that's because if we go down here. I've got join type rounded. I can change that to mitre and that will give us those nice sharp corners. Then go up to insert text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and drag out a text box and just write thank you. Now this text box has got a black borderline and a white background, which I want to get rid of. So select it, go to shape format, go to shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline, go to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill. Then I'm going to go to the home tab. I'm going to change the font to Atma. I'm going to change the color, click on font color. I'm going to change it to white. And then I'm going to use this increase font size tool here and just keep clicking that. And when I'm happy with the size of my text, I'll leave it there. And then I'm going to go across to center text. So center it in that text box. And then I'm going to use that text box again by copying and pasting it. The easiest way to do that is to select it. Hold down your alt or option key, click and drag deselect both of them, reselect the bottom one. And then here you can customize the name. So let's say we put grandma in here. And then once again, I'm going to borrow this text box, but I can't do that whilst the cursor's inside. So deselect it, reselect it, hold down the alter option key, click and drag. And then here I'm going to type your awesome I'm going to change the font size. So select it, go to the home tab, and I'm going to reduce the font size here. Now, because my cursor is inside here, you can't see it because it's down here somewhere with the other word. So deselect it, reselect it, and then you can reduce the font size. There you go. And let's just put an exclamation mark at the end there. There we go. Move that down. So now we've got all of our text and images into the thank you card. We're going to put some more patterns around the outside. Select everything by holding down your alt or option key whilst you click on each element. Go to shape format, go to align and select align to center. That will center everything to itself, not to the actual card. So once you've centered everything and all these elements are lined up, go to group select the drop down and select group. So now that's one element. So select that, hold the alt or option key down and select the rectangle on the outside, the background one that we put in first, then go to align and then select align to center. And that will make sure that all of that text is all lined up to the center. 
So if you need to ungroup this, simply select it, go to group and select ungroup, and then you can go ahead and change any of these. And now we can go ahead and insert shapes, and then we can go and select the heart, holding down your shift key, click and drag. Then we can change the border color and the inside color. I'm gonna to go to shape outline, no outline, shape fill, more fill colors. Let's select a lighter pink, maybe something over here. Click OK. And then we can rotate this, copy and paste it, hold down the Alt or Option key, click and drag. And you can do that a few times so that we get all the hearts that we need. And then you can select each one, reduce the size, holding down that Shift key. You can rotate them, place them where you want to. Perfect, so once you're finished, just select this outer rectangle and delete it. And then we're just left with the line in the middle. And then if you want to put some text on the inside and the back cover, we can do that as well. So this will be your back cover. So grab this text box here. I'm going to borrow it again because it saves me taking the background and the borderline out. Click and drag, holding down the Alt or Option key. Then go to the Home tab, select Text Color, select Automatic. And then at the bottom here, you can say made by whoever's made the card, or you can just put a design. Just reduce that font size, deselect, reselect. And you can put that at the bottom. Just use my arrow key. And then again, insert. Now here, if you want to put an icon or a picture or an image in the middle, you can do exactly the same. You could put another image on the back if you want to, but I'm just going to put um, an animal image on the back. Let's go for the duck, click insert, and then again, wrap text in front of text, and then you can move it to the center, reduce or increase the size of it, and make sure those are two lined up. Hit the Alt, or, sorry, hit the Command or Control key, Go to Graphics Format, Align, Align to Center, and those are aligned to each other. And then if you want to put something on the inside, just go to Insert, Page Break. This will be your inner pages. So this is usually left blank. And then on the right-hand side, let's steal this text box, select it, hold down the Alt or Option key, and copy that onto the inner pages. And then double click inside, select all the text. And then you can put whatever text you want in the middle. Then you can write around the outside or you can continue to type. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Go to the home tab, increase the size. Let's just increase the size of that box. There we go. And then just to remove this line, double click at the very top of your page, select the line, you've selected it when you can see these green balls and just press delete. Double click into the main document, we'll just zoom out. And there you have your card. So now you just need to go ahead and print this out. So print one side first, obviously turn it over and then print the second side. All of this is customizable, so you can change the color of the background, you can change the color of the hearts, you can change the border color, you can change the font color, and obviously you can change all of the text. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.